What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on the uh, black go-kart, if you can see it behind me. Uh, we're going to be starting it. I need to uh, get a hub made for the disc brake. Here's a disc brake we're using. It's one for a 150cc pit bike. And uh, I, it doesn't, of course, come with some type of hub to bolt up to it. So I looked in my hoard of junk, and I end up having this sprocket holder. So uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you that real quick. Now I've already marked the holes. These four holes didn't line up. Um, so I marked some new ones and got them uh, tapped for the middle uh, or center punch with that little handy dandy center punch right there. So I'm going to put this in the vise. I'm going to drill it out and uh, get that brake mounted. Okay, first I started off with a 3 30 seconds drill bit. Uh, it's easier to start off with a small bit and then work your way up. So what I do is I skip uh, two drill bits or one drill bit every time and jump up aside. This is just a little set of drill bits I got. And um, so next we're going to use one eighth and then nine sixty fourth and then three sixteenths and then end on five sixteenths. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing drilled out. Okay, we got that drilled out and the bolt set down in it. So now what I'm going to do is clean up the burrs around the drill bit hose and then sand this down and give it a new coat of probably red to make it stick out. Okay, we got that piece all painted. We're going to let it dry overnight and then flip it and do the other side. And then uh, I'll take and sand that inside so there won't, won't be any clearance issues on the axle. Because these usually have a really tight tolerance. And then I got to find the, uh, the set screws that go in each side. I think I got them bagged up somewhere. And uh, so next we got to cut this axle tube off. We're actually going to use this axle tube on the little red go-kart right there that's piled up in the mess of the garage. But um, because this is the axle that was in it, and we're going to use this axle on that little red go-kart and put a set of slicks on it and finally have a straight axle and a disc brake. So uh, we'll get the angle grinder out and cut these welds and then remove them old engine plates uh, as well off there. Okay, I got those engine plates cut off. There's one of them. I think that's a, like a quarter inch thick of steel and the other one that's the factory plate right there uh, probably like an eighth maybe inch thick of steel and you can see where when they welded it they like burnt through the metal and just like gummed it all up and then this piece was originally there uh, because the plate was you know attached to this and then to this so um, since this one's in so bad of shape and this this is the bad thing about these little murray go-karts is this pipe is so thin it's like really crap thin metal um as you can see i mean that's not super thin but it's still thinner than i like like my daughter's go-kart right there everything is like thicker than it needs to be everything on that go-kart's overbuilt so that's how you can tell a company that took pride in their work versus murray that just spits out a bunch of junk so 
What I think I'm going to do is put this black one on hold. I have an identical one just like this that's in red. I mean, it's everything's identical. The only thing different is uh, this model had fenders on it. The red one does. So uh, I think I'm going to clean this one off and set it out back for now. And uh, we'll get started on the red one. we got to take the cage off of it. And the steering wheel is offset to the left hand or the right hand side. And uh, so we'll cut all that off and get to work on it instead of this one. This one's just going to need a lot more work like the front up there. Uh, you can't see it, but on the opposite side, that front end's been bent up. Uh, this pipe right here um, has a ding in it. You know, it's just little stuff like that that I'd rather not have my big nice go-kart, uh, you know, to have. So uh, I think I'm going to put this in on pause and grab the red one out back. So guys, I know we didn't do much on this video. Sorry I'm sweating like a hoe, but um, I got to get that red one in here and get the frame taken off it and get it up on the workbench and uh, swap this black one out this black one's been modified a few times and um but oh well we'll still we'll finish this one at a later date maybe this will be one of the last ones i do because it needs so much repairs done um it, although they're minor i still don't want to take the time right now when i can just grab that red one and have a uh, clean slate with it so uh don't forget to watch my other videos guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh we finally made it to a thousand subscribers and i can't thank you enough that's awesome that a thousand people was uh, interested enough in my garage to hit that button. So I can't thank y'all enough and um, just keep supporting me. I really appreciate it, guys. And don't forget to check me out on the next video of Red Beard's Garage. I'm out.